so my plan to have a candlelight vigil um, just looking at people's responses on Facebook how angry they were how how it affected them posting uh, signs and things that said black lives matter all lives matter um, hate is uh, taught not You're not born with hate. You're taught to hate, etc., etc., etc. So I thought the vigil would be a good idea for us to come together and, as one, and um, stand and say that all lives matter. Um, so I created the event. Um, on Facebook, I have a, about 450 friends on there. And so I thought, wow, everyone's as upset as I am about this situation, so there's going to be a lot of participation. Um, if not participating in my vigil, at least getting something started in their own communities. So I posted the event and didn't really get the response I was expecting. Uh, there were, um, I invited over 60 people and five people um, agreed to join. who are my family members, um, and five said they were interested in going. So I just kept posting it, sharing it, uh, you know, my family members were doing the same thing, and um, still not a lot of response. So I post posted on Facebook, if anyone knew of any community leaders um, or pastors in, in the area that could come to the vigil with us uh, just to lead us in prayer um, and so I got a couple names I emailed uh, two pastors in this area one of them I did not receive a response from the second one did respond and uh, told me that um, he appreciated what I was doing but he didn't think that holding a vigil was going to um, solve anything and that he uh, typically uh, is not able to participate in any events on Saturdays because he's preparing for services the following day. Um, he went on to say that if I gave him a reason to be at the vigil, that he would be there front and center. Um, but he felt at, that as a minister that his uh, priority and, uh, you know, he's more... Um, a benefit to the community by meeting with law enforcement, uh, community leaders throughout the week. Okay, so in order for any change to be made, it's going to have to come from not just me, because I have no power to make any of these changes, just one person. We need people in the community that have the influence to make changes and obviously like I said he meets with these people every week so I think it should start there uh, I can you know say all I want to say I can post all the videos I want but I I can't do anything to change to, to make the change we need the community leaders to step up and tell us as citizens what we need to do or what we can do as individuals to start making these changes. You know, it's, it seems as though uh, they're in these positions and, you know, they don't want to rock the boat or they don't want to get their hands dirty, uh, you know, messing meddling in this type of uh, business so to speak and you know the the point of the vigil was I want to represent um, Americans that are really hurt by these events um, not only the the two men that were killed um, within the last few days um, Alton and Philandro but um, 
also the, the, the Dallas police officers that were killed uh, as well. So it's not a race thing. It's a, uh, a life, you know, every life matters, not just one race. And um, so that was really disheartening to hear that uh, from the pastor. And at that point, I decided uh, to cancel the vigil uh, for lack of uh, interest and support from the community. Um, which really upset me because I'm not the type of person, you, know, you can ask my family, I keep to myself. I don't ever put myself out there. I, but this, this situation, the most recent situations, just, I can't even describe it. It just like brought out something in me that I am still completely shocked. I, like I said, I do not try and put myself out there by any means. Um, so the fact that I was trying to do something that I thought would help and then to get, uh, you know, discouraged, um, you know, it was really hurtful and I cried and became very upset, depressed, uh, you know, asking God, is this really what I'm supposed to be doing uh you know it's like at that moment i found out what my purpose was and for a brief moment i thought well maybe i was wrong you know maybe i'll just go back to just staying to myself and not uh, trying to make any changes. Uh, but then I thought about my kids and my grandkids. And even if I don't affect the community or anyone else, I want to be a, a positive influence on them. And, uh, so after a little while, I kind of regained my composure and said, you know what, I'm going to stick with this. And if I can just affect those around me, that's more than enough. And, um... So I had all these thoughts going on in my mind afterwards. It's like all this, all these words just came flooding to me. And I've never been a writer, um, never wrote poems. I mean, English in school, but other than that, nothing significant. And so I uh, put together a poem that I'm going to read for you just to um, kind of express how I'm how I was feeling about the situation um, and hold on I need to put my old lady glasses on and the poem I wrote goes like this it's hard to focus through watery eyes can someone anyone hear my cries my heart is heavy and full of pain, hopeless and helpless. Am I insane? Why, oh why, must I care so much? How many lives can one person touch? All lives matter, or so they say. If that's the case, the violence would stop today. We're all so quick to be outraged, but what are you doing to make a change? Since when did senseless killing become okay? All we can do is pray, pray, pray. Pray for all of us to step up to the plate that will pray without ceasing 
for this war for this world full of hate and um, I felt really empowered after I wrote that poem uh, it, it really expressed how I'm feeling about um, all the violence that that we're dealing with today and uh, the the purpose of these videos is I is you know I have nothing to to lose from posting these videos nothing to gain I just want my voice to be heard uh, the fact that I was uh, dismissed basically by the pastors about my uh, my thoughts and my feelings hopefully there's someone that will watch this video that is in a powerful position not only in a powerful position but someone that is in those positions that is wanting to make change and all they need is uh, people like me to uh, you know do whatever needs to be done and I'm willing to do that I just need their support uh, I can't do it alone and um, I'll be uh, posting more videos um, as time goes along and uh, hopefully I can make a change and uh, you know don't think that you're not capable that you aren't uh, powerful enough to make changes if I can do it, you can do it. I know that's a cliche, but it's the truth. God bless and have a wonderful day.